University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. 30 unforgiving minutes lie ahead of two more teams tonight as they try to win a place in the second round. If the losers come away with a score that's among the top four losing scores, they will get a final chance to qualify too. Wolfson College, Cambridge was founded in 1965 as University College, but it changed its name in 1973 after a benefaction from the foundation established by Sir Isaac Wolfson, the chairman of Great Universal Stores. Most of its 760 students are postgraduates, which is reflected in the composition of tonight's team. And alumni include, for anyone old enough to remember Procol Harum, the musician and Hammond organist Matthew Fisher, and the former president of Zambia, Rupia Banda. With an average age of 25, let's meet the Wolfson team. Hi, my name is Justin Yang. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm studying for a PhD in public health and primary care. Hi, I'm Ben Chowdhury. I'm from Cumbria and I'm reading Natural Sciences. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Eric Monkman. I'm from Oakville, Canada, and I'm studying for a master's in economics. Hi, I'm Paul Cosgrove from Cookstown in Northern Ireland, and I'm studying for an MPhil in nuclear energy. Their opponents tonight represent SOAS, the School of Oriental and African Studies, which was founded in 1916 as a constituent college of the University of London. It, too, has an emphasis on postgraduate education, which accounts for nearly half of its student body. Among its alumni are the travel writer Freya Stark, the singer and activist Paul Robeson, and the Nobel Peace Laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. As a specialist institution, the team admit that not having a scientist could be a weakness, time will tell there, and they're no doubt hoping to hear questions on Malay, Thai, Persian, Arabic and Luxembourgish instead, representing around 6,000 students with an average age of 44. Let's meet the SOAS team. Hello, I'm David Bostock. I'm originally from Cheltenham, and I'm studying for a Master's in Southeast Asian Studies. Hello, I'm Magda Biran-Taylor. I'm originally from Harrow in Middlesex, and I'm also studying for a Master's in Southeast Asian Studies. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Henry Edwards. I'm from London, and I'm doing an MA in Near and Middle Eastern Studies. Hi, I'm Odette Shalaby. I'm from London, and I'm also doing an MA in Near and Middle Eastern Studies. OK, the rules are the same as ever. Starter questions are worth 10 points. You have to answer those on the buzzer individually, and bonus questions can be answered collectively by conferring. They're worth 15 points. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a 10. Which series of novels began in 1983 with The Colour of Magic? 25th... Wolfson Monkman. Discworld. Discworld is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, Wolfson, on physicists who were also proficient musicians. In each case, name the musical instrument with which they were most associated. First, Albert Einstein. The violin? Yeah. The violin. The violin. Correct. Secondly, Werner Heisenberg. Uh, piano? Piano, maybe? Yeah. Piano? Yeah. piano? Correct. And finally, Richard Feynman was associated oh, with which specific percussion instrument? The bongos. Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this starter question. Figures on the buzzers. The rules governing which mathematical entity were written in elliptic verse by the 7th century Indian mathematician Brahmagupta. He alternately called it Shunya or Ka, the former being a Sanskrit term for void or... Wilson Monkman. Zero. Zero is correct, yes. You get a set of bonuses on brothers in medieval history, Wolfson. Firstly, for five, often known by a byname denoting fleetness of foot, who claimed the throne of England on the death of Canute in 1035 in opposition to his own half-brother, Hard Canute? Harold Harfoot? No, Harfoot? Harold Harefoot is correct, yes. Harold died in 1040. Hard Canute, his successor, died two years later. Which of Hard Canute's half-brothers succeeded him? He's the subject of Alfred Duggan's novel, The Cunning of the Dove. Maybe Spine Forkbeard? Yeah, Spine Forkbeard? No, it was Edward the Confessor. And finally, after Edward's death in 1066, who allied himself with the King of Norway to fight against his own brother, Harold II? He was killed at the Battle of Stamford Bridge. Oh, Harold no, that's, that's mm -hmm. the one who was... Harold Hadrada. That was Tostig. 
Ten points for this. The metro system of which European capital has been described as the world's longest art exhibition? Sculptures, paintings and other artworks... So as Edwards. Moscow. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Other artworks decorate more than 90 of its 100 stations, which include Alvik, Sankt, Eriksplan and Gamlastan. Walson Cosgrove. Amsterdam. No, it's Stockholm. Ten points for this starter question. From the Greek for hard, what term is applied to conditions in which parts of a body organ become hard or useless? Walton Yang. Ossified. No, you lose five points. Often as a result of ageing, thickening or scarring. So as Edwards. Calcification. No, it's sclerosis. Ten points for this. Which poet was the author of the lines, When as in silk my Julia goes, then, then methinks, how sweetly flows that liquefaction of her clothes? Born in 1591, he spent much of his life as the vicar of Dean Pryor in Devonshire. Orson Yang. John Dunn. No. So as one of you buzz, you may not confer, one of you can buzz. So George as Edwards. Harvest. No, it was Robert Herrick. We'll take another starter question, but you lost five points there for an incorrect interruption, of course, Wolfson. Right, ten points for this. Royal Nut of Jupiter is a translation of the scientific name of which deciduous tree? It yields a fine-grained wood used for furniture and veneers and an edible nut consisting of a two... So aspirant Taylor. Wal walnut. Walnut is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on explosives, so as. Discovered by the British chemical engineer Edward Charles Howard in 1800 and widely used in detonators and blasting caps, which explosive has the chemical formula C2N2O2HG? Any ideas? Cordite? No, it's mercury fulminate. Yep. Secondly, what explosive did the Italian chemist Ascanio Sobrero discover in 1846, used in dynamite... It's made by reacting propane one two three trial with a mixture of concentrated sulfuric and nitric acids. Go for cordite for this one as well. Mm. Cordite. No, it's nitroglycerine. <laughs> and finally, along with his father, who helped to commercialise nitroglycerine? He'd earlier designed the first factory to produce it, an explosion at which, in 1864, killed his younger brother Emil Oscar. Nobel. It was Alfred Nobel. Correct. Right, we're going to take a picture around now. We're going to see a map with a collection of islands highlighted. For ten points, I want the two-word designation of those islands. Walton Monkman. The Caribbean islands? No. Would anyone like to buzz from South with a more precise answer? So as for Antilla. Windward Islands. No, it's the Greater Antilles. So we'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Here's another starter question. Figures on the buzzers, please. In May 2009, the New York resident L.J. Rule became the first person to hit his funding goal on which website with his project ah. drawing... So as Edwards. Kickstarter. Kickstarter is right, yes. <laughs> so you were asked to identify the Greater Antilles in the picture starter. We follow on from that with three islands of the Caribbean on the map. I simply want you to identify each island indicated, which may not be the name of the state or states to which its territory belongs. Firstly... That's uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago? No, it's Trinidad is the island. It's not Trinidad and Tobago. It, of course, that is the state, but I was looking for the name of the island. Secondly... That's uh, Barbados, I think. Barbados? Yeah. Barbados. It is Barbados. And finally... That's... Um, Hispaniola. 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 It is Hispaniola, yes, hating the Dominican Republic. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Eustace of Boulogne was the eldest surviving son of which English king? His death made possible the settlement of the civil war between his father and the Empress Matilda in favour... Also Monkman. Stephen? Stephen of Bois is correct, yes. You've got a set of bonuses now, Wilson, on the Battle of the Somme. Firstly, for five points, the Somme offensive ended on November the 13th, 1916, having begun on the first day of which month that year? Uh, was it the guns of June? August? June? That was, that was, that was the magic force. Okay, then maybe 
May. May. No, it was July. Coined by the War Minister Lord Derby, what name came to be given to the specially constituted battalions of the British Army made up of men who'd enlisted together in local recruitment drives? Many suffered heavy casualties at the Somme. Powell's Battalion. Powell's Battalion? Correct. Designed by Sir Edward Lutchins, the memorial to the missing of the Somme is named after which village on the battlefield? Ip? No, it's Tipval. Ypres is, in, is further north. Ten points for this. Which legendary hero is both the narrator and the title character of the poem by Tennyson that ends with the line to... So as Edwards. Ulysses. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on rice cultivation, so as. Including rice terraces and other cooperative water management systems, the Subak system is part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site on which island between Java and Lombok? Bali. Correct. Built by the Hani people over the past 1,300 years, a cultural landscape of rice terraces is a UNESCO World Heritage Site near the Red River in which Chinese province bordering Vietnam and Laos? Yunnan. Yunnan. Correct. Built 2,000 years ago, the If You Go rice terraces form part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site on the island of Luzon in which country? Philippines. Correct. Ten points for this. In thermodynamics, when considering a chemical reaction, what three-word term is the name of the quantity that can be derived from its enthalpy minus the product of the temperature and the entropy? Wilson the Cosgrove. Gibbs free energy. Correct. <laughs> You'll retake the lead if you get these bonuses on the author Miranda Carter. Firstly, for five points. Miranda Carter won the Orwell Prize in 2002 for her biography of which art historian Revealed late in life to have been a Soviet spy. Anthony Blunt. Uh, Blunt. Blunt. Anthony Blunt is correct. Carter's 2009 work, The Three Emperors, is subtitled Three Cousins, Three Empires and The Road to World War I. To which three empires does the title refer? Did you say empires or emperors? Germany, 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 Russia, Russia, Britain, Britain. Germany, Russia and Britain? Correct. In a 2014 interview, Carter cited which US historian as her great hero in terms of history writing? Her works include The Proud Tower and The March of Folly. Doris Kearns Goodwin? Doris Kearns Goodwin? Uh, no, it's Barbara Tuckman. Ten points for this. The loudest sound in recorded history is often cited as that caused by what event of August the 27th, 1883? Wolfson Monkman, the fall of the Berlin Wall. <laughs> nope. So ask one of you may buzz. So ask Bostock. The eruption of Krakatoa. Correct. <laughs> you get these bonuses, you'll retake the lead. Your bonuses are on places named after saints. In each case, I want the ceremonial county, for example, North Yorkshire or Merseyside, in which the following are located. Firstly, for five, in which county is St. Bees, the start of Wainwright's coast-to-coast -coast walk? Cumberland? 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 No, that's not a ceremony. Cumbria. Cumbria is right. Named after a 9th century English saint, the town of St. Neots lies on the River Great Ouse in which county? Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire. Correct. Noted for Marine Court, an Art Deco building in the shape of an ocean liner, St Leonard's on Sea is in which ceremonial county? Sussex. Sussex. Specifically? West. West Sussex. No, it's East Sussex. <laughs> Bad luck. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music by a British composer. Ten points if you can identify the composer. Wilson Chaldry. Elgar. It is Elgar. His cello concerto in E minor. It's perhaps the best known recording by Jacqueline Dupre. Your music bonuses are three more of Jacqueline Dupre's recordings. In each case, I simply want the composer of the piece you hear. Firstly, for five, this Austrian composer. <laughs> Mozart? No, that's Haydn's cello concerto number two in D. Secondly, this French composer. Okay, then, then Cecil Rex. 
Saison. Saison. No, it's Gabriel Fauré, his elegy in C minor. Finally, this Central European composer. Dvorak? It is Dvorak, yes, he's still a composer in D minor. Right, ten points for this. California was admitted to the Union in 1850. Which two states were admitted in 1845? Now... Wilson Monkman. North and South Dakota. No. Uh, I'm afraid you lose five points. Now among the most populous in the country, they both have coastlines on the Gulf of Mexico. One of you buzz quickly, Sars. So has Edwards. Alabama and Louisiana. No, it's Florida and... Texas. So here's another starter question. The three principles of the people were part of an ideology formulated by which revolutionary? Born in southern China in 18... Walter Monkman. Mao Zedong. No, you lose another five points, I'm afraid. In 1866, he was influential in the overthrow of the Chinese imperial dynasty in 1911. Uh, so has Taylor. Sun Yat-sen. Sun Yat-sen is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on the Nobel Prize for Economics. Firstly, which US social scientist won the 1978 prize for his research into decision-making within organisations? He also coined the terms bounded rationality and satisficing. Okay. <laughs> Talcott Parsons. No, it was Herbert A. Simon. Secondly, co-recipient of the 2002 prize, which Israeli-born psychologist is noted for the 2011 work Thinking Fast and Slow? Nominate uh, Shalabi. Daniel Kahneman. Correct. The subject of the film A Beautiful Mind, which US mathematician won the 1994 prize for his landmark work on game theory? John Nash. John Nash is correct. <laughs> right, another start of question. What name is now given to the object discovered on January the 1st, 1801, by the Italian astronomer Giovanni Piazzi? Also Monkman. Ceres? Ceres is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on scientific units. In each case, give the unit from the description. All three begin with the same letter. Firstly, often known by a three-letter abbreviation, a unit equivalent to 1,055 joules. It was previously defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. Calorie. Three, Calorie? Three no, it's a BTU, a British thermal unit. Secondly, a unit of speed of digital communication named after a French engineer born 1845. Speed. Um, Becquerel? Um, it's, no, no, it's not um, Becquerel. It's... Let's have it, please. Becquerel. Becquerel. No, it's Abode, B-A-U-D. Yeah. Finally, the three-letter name of a unit of sound intensity that uses a logarithmic scale. Bell. 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 That's correct. Ten points for this. The name of which movement in architecture and design is an abbreviation of the name in French of the International Exposition of Modern Industrial and Decorative Arts held in Paris in 1925. So has Bostock. The international movement. No, anyone want to buzz from Wolfson? <laughs> Wolfson Monkman. Art Deco? Art Deco is correct, yes. <laughs> I'm afraid you lose five points, so that's for an incorrect interruption. Right, a set of bonuses for you now, Wolfson, on languages of China. Firstly, named after a river, the northern and southern Min forms of Chinese originate in which coastal province? Southern Min, also known as Hokkien, has a large number of speakers outside China. I would say Guangdong. Yeah. Guangdong? No, it's Fujian. With more than 36 million speakers, Shang, that's X-I-A-N-G, is a form of Chinese spoken largely in which inland province? The birthplace of Mao Zedong. Its That's capital is Changsha. Hunan. Hunan? Hunan is correct. With at least 50 million speakers, UA, that's Y-U-E, has what alternative name after a historical name of a major city of South China? Cantonese. Cant is it, is that really? yeah. Cantonese? Cantonese is correct. We're going to take another start question now. Which two final letters link words meaning a Japanese fried dumpling, a spectacular theatrical... <laughs> Olson Yang. Uh, Z-A. Z-A is correct, yes. 
Your bonuses this time, Wolfson, are on a Victorian poem. For all three answers, I need the title and the author. The sea is calm tonight, the tide is full, the moon lies fair Don't upon the straits. Like on the here. French coast, the light gleams and is gone. Nominate Which poem of 1851 begins with those lines? Nominate Young. Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold. Correct. In which novel does Daisy Perown's recitation of Dover Beach calm a violent intruder? The novel takes place on a single day in February 2003. Saturday. Saturday by Ian McEwan. Nominate Chowdhury. Saturday by Ian McEwan. Correct. In which dystopian novel does the fireman Guy Montag shock his wife's friends by reading Dover Beach to them? Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Nominate Yang. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. That is correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take another picture around now. If your picture starts, you're going to see a photograph of a sports person. Ten points if you can identify her. Wolfson Yang. Steffi Graf. Anyone like to buzz from SOAS? So I shall be. It is indeed, yes. As of the beginning of 2016, Martina Navratilova is one of only ten tennis players in the Open era to have completed a singles career Grand Slam, that is, to have won all four of the sport's major titles. Your picture bonuses are photographs of three more of this select ten. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly... Steffi, Steffi Graf. Graf. Is that Steffi Graf? Steffi Graf. It is Steffi Graf. And secondly... That's, um, that's Chris Everett Lloyd. Chris Everett Lloyd. Chris Everett is correct, yes. And finally... Um, what's her name? Sharapova. Yeah, yeah. Sharapova. That is Maria Sharapova. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Fingers on the buzzers. Widely used in medical research, the HeLa cell line was derived from the cervical cancer cells of which... So I said Henrietta which... Lacks. Henrietta Lacks is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses could put you back in the lead. They're on books published in 1516. In 1516, which major figure of the Northern Renaissance wrote The Education of a Christian Prince and published an annotated text of the Greek New Testament? Erasmus? Correct. Also in 1516, the Italian poet Ariosto published the first version of which epic poem? Its title character is A Knight in the Service of Charlemagne. Orlando Furioso. Correct. Its name meaning no place, which work by Sir Thomas More first appeared in 1516 in a Latin version? Utopia. Correct. <laughs> that gives you the lead. And another starter question now. Seleucos Nicator founded an empire that spanned Asia from the Indus to Syria. He had earlier served as an infantry commander under which royal... Wilson Chaldry. Uh, Ptolemy. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Under which royal figure born in 356 BC? You may not confer, one of you may buzz. So I said Alexander what's... the Great. Alexander the Great is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses this time on amino acid psoas. Which amino acid has the single letter code Y? Melanin is an end product of its metabolism. Any ideas at all? No. Uh, pass. It's tyrosine. W is the code of which amino acid? The body uses it to manufacture the vitamin niacin and the neurotransmitter serotonin. Should we pass it? Pass. That's tryptophan. And finally, which amino acid has the single letter code R? It plays an important part in the synthesis of urea. Riboflavin. Mm. Riboflavin. No, it's arginine. Mm. Right, ten points for this. Forstery and Patagonicus are the largest species of the genus Aptenodites of which flightless birds? They are known respectively as king... And emperor. So I said what? Penguin. Penguin is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on fictional newspapers. In each case, I need the title and the author of the novel in which the paper appears. Firstly, The Pioneer is a newspaper owned by Mr. Brooke in which major novel, first published in 1871? You go up straight? No. No. Um, 1871. It might be. I don't know. New Grub Street. No, it's Middlemarch by George yeah, Eliot. Yes. In which 1938 novel does William Boot become a oh. journalist on the Daily Beast? Scoop. Scoop. By? Evelyn Waugh. Correct. The Maycomb Tribune features in which 1960 novel? 
1960. How about um, King's the Amos? Lucky Jim. Come on. Yeah. King's the Amos, Lucky Jim. No, it's To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Oh. There's less than three minutes to go and ten points for this. Meaning, based on a system of bishops, what formal name is given to the churches in Scotland and in the ah. United States? Science Edwards. Presbyterian. No, you lose five points. That are part of the worldwide Anglican communion. <laughs> but in Episcopalian. Episcopalian is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on Sanskrit titles of English language films. Firstly, which 2002 film stars Jimmy Mystery and Heather Graham and has a title that means spiritual teacher in Sanskrit? Uh, is it guru? Guru? No. guru? Correct. Based on Herman Hesse's novel of the same name, which 1972 film? Siddhartha. Correct. Which 2009 film, directed by James Cameron, has a title... Avatar. Avatar is correct. <laughs> Ten points for the start question. Give the two short rhyming words that mean a ruminant whose breeds include Kashmir and Angora and a small... So as Baran Taylor. Goat. You interrupted incorrectly. I'd already asked for two words. Sorry. And a small weasel, also known as the ermine. Orson Yang. Stoat and goat. Stoat and goat is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on Christmas Day crownings, Wolfson College. Who was crowned Emperor of the Romans by the Pope in Rome on Christmas Day 800? Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Correct. On Christmas Day 1100, Baldwin of Boulogne was crowned the first king of which crusader state in the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem? Jeru it's the Crusader's Church State of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Correct. On the 25th of December 1130, Count Roger II was crowned king of which Mediterranean kingdom? Sicily. Sicily. Sicily is right. Another starter question. Ferdowsi is a highly revered ah, poet. Persian. So is Edwards. Persian. Persian or Farsi is correct. Yes, you get a set of bonuses <laughs> on Greek mythology. Which twins are known as the Dioscuri, one of them being the mortal son of Tyndarius, the other the immortal son of Zeus? It's Castor and Pollux in Nimrod and in Latin. Castor and Pollux? Correct. Founded according to tradition by the Phoenician prince Cadmus, which Thieves. Greek city was... Thieves. Thieves is correct, yes. Which god was born on that? And the god... <laughs> so us have 175, and so do Wilson College, Cambridge. OK, the way we settle this is very simple. I'm going to ask one starter question. If you answer it correctly, you get the points and you win. We don't bother with the bonuses. If you answer it incorrectly, it goes to the other side. If you buzz in with an incorrect interruption, of course, you lose five points and automatically lose the contest then. So, here we go. Everyone ready? Ten points for this. The radula is a movable, rasping structure found in the mouth of species of which animal phylum? Wilson Chaldry. Mollusk. Mollusk is correct, yes. Well done. <laughs> you win. <laughs> well, so it's not a bad way to go out. And 175, I would certainly bet my house on you coming back as one of the highest scoring losing teams. So I don't think it's the end of the day for you at all. Uh, congratulations to you, Wolfson. That was a great, a great performance. You're on storming form. I don't know why I bothered reciting the questions, really. You had the answers so quickly to hand. Um, I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from SOAS. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Wolfson College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>